Hello, respected viewers. I'm George from Ireland. Spot the haircut, okay? This is one of my one of my biannual haircuts, so you won't see it again for some time. So enjoy it whilst you can. My ears are feeling colder. But anyway, back to the subject. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you why the Commission of the Metropolitan Police should not resign. She is Cressida Dick, the first woman to hold that office. Metropolitan Police means the London Police. Now, um, just days ago, um, a former officer of the Metropolitan Police was convicted of rape and murder, and he indeed committed these crimes whilst a serving officer of uh, the police. So, uh, so the, the um, uh, victim's family are obviously um, distraught, and uh, it was um, a um, Wayne Cousins was the name of the guy who carried out the murder. So um, this, the mother of the house is in the longest serving female MP, Harriet Harman, Labour, she says that um, uh, Cressida Dick should tender her resignation and saying, um, well, it's terrible because it's undermined confidence in the police, particularly amongst women and so forth. And there were warning signs. Supposedly, some of this man's colleagues thought it was dodgy and they, they um, uh, Joe Copesley said he was the rapist. Now, this might, as in years before he committed that crime, you would think that would be a joke in questionable taste, um, especially given the current uh, climate of um, Me Too. Um, Anyway, so so um, uh, Cousins was found guilty at the Old Bailey. He's been served, sentenced to life imprisonment. It's unlikely he'll ever be released. Um, uh, so it was last year, during the coronavirus pandemic, during the height of it, when he uh, decided, hatched his plot to kidnap, rape and murder this woman, driving along and seeing his undercover police officer, he thought she was breaking coronavirus restrictions, persuading him to get into his car, handcuffing her, swapping from one car to another, driving into, into the woods, uh, then he violated her, he murdered her, he burned the corpse, blah, blah, blah. Bizarrely, he left her cadaver only about 150 metres from, from a countryside property that he owned. He then went back to his wife and children and carried on completely as normal. He was also an elite police officer, part of the diplomatic protection squad. And he, he, he committed this um, felony right after finishing a 12-hour shift guarding the United States Embassy um, near Nine Elms. Um, he carried firearms because police in the United Kingdom very rarely carry firearms, you have to have specialist training to do so. He pleaded guilty um, to these crimes, and once he pleaded guilty, the police of the metropolis dismissed him, because everyone deserves a uh, presumption of innocence, and that includes police officers. So, um, anyway, I think this, it really is uh, a moral panic. Yes, murder is horrendous, who wouldn't think that? Everyone in his right mind would, would, want, to, would want to prevent rape. Um, obviously, my heart goes out to the to the family of the victim. It's terrible. This completely unoffending woman was guilty of this. Uh, sorry, guilty was um, uh, victim of this unprovoked attack. So there's no guilt on her part whatsoever. Um, but uh, how could the commission, the police, have prevented it? Are we to to sack people over rumours? I mean, people often have nasty rumours going around against him. No one had ever charged him with any crime before. No one, I think, had ever suspected him of any crime. No one had ever interviewed him in relation to any crime. If we were simply to dismiss police officers, very highly trained, distinguished ones, on the basis of um, tittle-tattle, we'd soon have no police officers um, left. So um, this is not always to be about public relations. Uh, but the police are not there to be popular. Right, they're there to enforce the law, popular or unpopular. They don't make the law. So um, I think it is ludicrous. What an overreaction to blame um, uh, Miss Dick. She didn't uh, commit this murder, nor did she fail to prevent it. Um, she can't guarantee that future police officers won't do the same. And a new commission of the police, what is he or she to do? To sack everyone about whom anyone has got anything negative to say? Of course we want to be able to trust the police. There are over 30,000 police officers in, in the Met. And when's the last one time, or one time when I committed murder? I can't think when it was, decades ago, presumably. So it is vanishingly rare. It's utterly absurd to say that the Commission of Police should, should um, carry the can. After all, it was her officers who investigated the crime. It was her officers who identified the culprit, who arrested him, um, who, whatever, charged him all, and all the rest of it. So they handled it correctly. I don't think they showed him any favoritism just because he was one of the boys in blue. Um, so uh, it's preposterous to say this. Anyway, it's difficult enough to recruit police officers. Say, well, we've got to have more extreme vetting. So not have people who've ever done anything a tiny bit unwise or controversial. Obviously, those with um, convictions are not allowed to join. Now, as for being a, a police community support officer, you can do that, PCSO, if you've got a, if you've got a conviction, so long as the offence was trifling was sufficiently long ago, otherwise we'd have uh, very few of those. We'd say no to otherwise uh, very gifted 
um, and hardworking people just because they'd done something injudicious in their youth. So these youthful indiscretions ought to ought to be forgiven, like shoplifting or something of that nature. Um, anyway, so uh, people say that um, politi political or policing legitimacy has been um, uh, gravely uh, undermined. Well, I mean, I don't agree. You know, there are how many police officers in London, in the whole United Kingdom? It's something like 300,000. It'd be utterly absurd to tar them all with the same brush, to say that they're all guilty, or even that the, um, uh, the um, uh, chief constable of any forces, if one of his or her officers um, commits a crime. We, we can't guarantee this is never going to happen. So it's ridiculous jumping on the bad wagon. It's just his histrionics. Uh, absurd overreaction to say that um, uh, Cressida Dick is somehow responsible for this, even indirectly. Uh, I don't see what it would do. I mean, so much for Harriet Harman we're wanting women to be in high positions, to dismiss the first woman to lead the Metropolitan Police, and indeed the first um, homosexual person to, to lead uh, the police as well. Um, other than that, she's been a fairly successful um, uh, commissioner of the police. She's meant to stay on post until 2024, at least. Um, because it was it was announced only weeks ago that she's having her term as police commissioner um, prolonged. Um, she was appointed in 2017, quite a distinguished officer, well, highly decorated officer, graduate of Oxford University and so forth, has managed to have fairly good relations with ethnic minority communities, with religious minority communities. Though I say the police mustn't strive to be popular, I don't want them to try to be unpopular. Inevitably, if they enforce the law, that's going to face, there's going to be some aggro, particularly if it's an unpopular law, but that's up to the politicians who frame the law. Um, and uh, so uh, that's it. The, the police mustn't be afraid to do things for the sake of public relations, for the way it'll be um, irresponsibly exploited by demagogues like um, Harriet Harman. Notably, that the Labour Party as such doesn't have a corporate view that uh, Miss Dick should go, or rather I should say Dame Cressida Dick, because she'd been honoured by given by made a dame. A dame ship is the female equivalent of a knighthood, um, and that is a gong to recognise her. Uh, fabulous services uh, to the public. Um, so of course you can trust the police. I mean, this is about the only time of the century something like that has happened um, uh, in London. A serving police officer. I mean, I can think of John Christie, but he was a former Metropolitan Police officer who'd only been able to sign up because they didn't do some very basic checks in the Second World War when they were delighted to have a 40-year-old man just too old for military service in excellent physical condition who had no difficulty um, passing um, the uh, intelligence test to be in the police. So let's get this in perspective. Yes, murder is monstrous. This uh, woman